Hi hi hello everyone, it's your girl! And due to popular requests, I am back drawing modern into classic Sonic characters. Let's video which is on the top right corner or in the description. P.S. go give it a watch if you need a refresher on the other designs, wink wonk. I said that if there were enough suggestions, I would do a part 2, didn't I? And boy did you guys deliver! So I picked 3 more characters from the comments to draw today. So let's make a game! Through this video, you will try to guess which ones I chose. No peeking. So let me know your guesses in the comments. Okay, here's some time for you to guess. Pause the video if it's necessary. And let's go! Done with your guesses? Now before we start, an important message. If you like these sorts of designing challenges, don't worry, I have a lot more planned along with some other ideas. Which PS, you are free to comment our challenges you'd like me to do. I listen to the comments a lot, trust me. So pretty please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I do post more videos. It would be a huge help on my career and it's guaranteed to put a smile on my face to see you enjoy the content I make. So thank you for the sub! With that oddly wholesome announcement out of the way, let's go 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 go! This is the Sonic Superstars DLC we will totally never get! Let's start off with Silver, by far the most requested one. And who am I to say no? With this fella we should have classic triple S, and isn't that a treat? This design goes out to all my triple S homies. Though backtracking a bit, in my last video I designed classic Shadow, right? And there were a lot of people that commented that in canon it made no sense. And I can already see some comments saying that Silver's designs is also impossible. So just to make it clear, I am fully, totally aware that these designs totally break the Sonic timeline. I am just making this because I think it's a fun challenge. Besides, it's not like totally official content isn't already breaking the continuity itself, though that's a topic for another day. Now that we are mostly on the same page, let's talk design. I kept it mostly loyal to the modern version, but I made three major changes. One, I made his boots shorter, because it would look very goofy for a short-legged character having long boots. <laughs> two, I removed two of his forehead quills, just because I think it would be very hard to do sprite work with five spikes. And because it, it kind of looks goofier, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, fun fact, I am kind of designing this as if there were to become 2D sprites for the 2D classic games. Except for one I'll get to later but that's why I'm simplifying so much. I know his forehead quills were kind of inspired by a maple leaf, but you can't always win anything. I really tried to keep the five, but it just didn't look right, sadly. And the third one is that I removed the circles on his gloves, again to really logo oversimplify this hedgehog. Some other notes that I want to include in this section is that I drew him trying to lift an apple with his powers, because I find it very funny that as a child he couldn't even lift an apple, but in his current times he just... It's no use! Take Practice makes perfect, I guess. And on the coloring front, I was kind of stumped. Because like, the rule in the classic designs is that you usually make the main color paler, right? How do you make almost white paler? <laughs> you see? That's kind of hard. I had some ideas that to make it like reverse, make it darker, but I think that it would just be a disservice to the design because it's very iconic. So I just took the L and made him white, like completely white. And I think that worked, but um, yeah, it's not much of a change there. This design overall really gave me a hard time on the coloring front because I wanted to do something more original, but I think it would have not worked because it wouldn't have linked to the silver we all know and love. So I just kept it more desaturated, I guess. But yeah, this is my final version of silver and let's move on to the next character. Next on the list is someone I think not many people would have seen coming, but at the same time the people who requested it were very, very adamant about it. I'm looking at you Dante, this one is your fault. <laughs> I am talking about Big the Cat. 
at first when I was conceptualizing this design, I kind of was stumped again. But I think this design is my favorite one of them all. Because overall, I kept it pretty loyal to the base design, but I made a few changes, like getting rid of the stripes in his arms, and like overall making his color palette a bit warmer, which I think looks absolutely great. I love this color palette. And while his body build is kind of similar to the ones in the modern games, I took a lot of inspiration from Bark the Polar Bear in his current IDW classic form. Which if it isn't a perfect match, I don't know what that is. I think I really nailed the oversimplification of this design because there's really not much I can comment on that I haven't already said, except for the obvious things that I made his fishing rod a stick, like in Animal Crossing. <laughs> I just find it very endearing. <laughs> and you know, originally in my sketches on my notebook, I wasn't going to, but then I realized it would be a crime against humanity not to give Big his good friend Froggy. But I couldn't just make a classic froggy, you get me? His design is already very simple. So you know what I did? I made froggy a tadpole. Which I strongly feel that is the biggest brain move I have ever done in my life. <laughs> this design just really gives me a lot of cottagecore vibes. And I don't know why, but I kind of like it. So I hope you guys like it too. Either way, on to the next design. And this is the one I actually don't think it would work as a sprite. I'm talking Tangle the Lemur. First off, don't get me wrong, I really like this design a lot. And I think it could work as a canon compliant thing. But I don't think it could work as a sprite, mainly because of her tuft of hair on the head. Uh, but I'm not sure about that. I do not have much experience making like sprite works, so any spriter out there, please let me know. <laughs> Though again, let's talk design. As is the rule, I kept it very close to the IDW design. I kept her tank top, but styled it more to look like a shirt or a dress of some sorts. Uh, kind of like I did with Blaze in the other video. On her hands, I made her sports tape into gloves, but I still kept the sports tape on her arms. Though when I finished the design, I kinda wish I didn't, because maybe it would look weird on a sprite. Again, I don't really know, so... On her shoes, I kept the colors where they are supposed to go in the design, but I made them into simple shapes rather than complex looking shoes like she has. This has literally nothing to do with the topic at hand, but I'm gonna say it. I love Tangle shoes, like the actual canon ones. I think they're one of the best parts of her design, and they fit her perfectly, so there. Top tier shoe design. <laughs> Back on topic though, uh, on her tail I just gave her two stripes instead of the zigzag shapes, and I think that's all of the changes I made. This was the thing with her design. Tangle is designed to be more of a comic character than a video game one at least by Sonic standards, since they are very simple on the games with all the 3D modeling and animating thing. I'm not saying that's bad or that it wouldn't translate into 3D at all, because we have seen the 3D renders of Tango, and they look great. This is just an observation from a designer's angle. On the colorful side, haha, <laughs> get it, I kept it true to the actual design. I wanted to make the yellow less vibrant at some point, but nah. This color palette is just good. And after some time of shading and lighting, she was done. And with that guys, gals and non-binary pals, we have three more classic Sonic characters for the roster. Which one is your favorite of this video? And which one is your favorite of the six I've made? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. On the last note of this video, I just want to thank you guys for the support lately. It really means a lot to me. Like, my arm has been hurting a bit because of the strain of college, making videos, and making my comic, which, PS, is coming very very soon and I am so hyped about that. But with all of your support, it has really been worth it. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you! 
Anyways, with that said, I have been Akari san. Keep drawing and stay rad. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye.